everybody, welcome back to Falcons Franchise, and I am a little under the weather, not feeling great, but whole family's sick, it's a whole thing, but I'm going to try to jump on here and uh, keep the muscles fresh, you know, our offense has not been clicking, you know, and when we find success, we just can't capitalize on it, I'm taking too much time off, probably won't, won't help things, but Let's dive right into it. Scouting national focus. This is what we need to do. Choose our national focus positions here. Uh, let's see. Strengths. Right outside linebacker, left tackle. We'll do left outside linebacker. For sure. There's a lot of good ones in the draft, so I think we'll be able to cash in on that we'll look at those uh, draft prospects a little later but we will do our weekly strategy here as we will face the Minnesota Vikings and their rookie QB Donald Ryan kind of threw me off there the way it was spelled but uh, their passing offense has been quite good their run offense not so good so maybe we do need to defend the pass here better deep coverage uh, DB run support immediate pass coverage is a little less but we'll go with it. We'll go full pads today. Offensive game plan, what do we want to do? The Vikings defense is not that great. Averaging uh, rush yards, they're allowing so many rush yards, so we should be able to take advantage of them running the ball. That'll work. That'll work there. Same thing, we'll just do full pads. Uh, total defense isn't bad. I mean, our stats, defensive passing yards, were first in the league against the pass. Ninth in the league against, uh, well, we're ninth in the league in passing yards, so. You know, we have some things we can build on, but mostly it's garbage because we're 0-7. And the fatigue has set in. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but it turns out it was. But as long as we have no injuries, I'll be all right with it. Little fatigue, I mean, what are you going to do? It's fucking football. Uh, Shelton, starter. No upgrade points. Do we, Who's still in the injury? All right, we still got Kyle Pitts in there for two weeks. Darnell Mooney, two of our best pass catchers for two weeks. So we should have got... Some of our offensive line back, finally. As we do get Jalen Mayfield back. Womack will go back to his backup role here. Brian Edwards is back on the lineup. Good to see him. Defensively, I think nothing has changed. We're still healthy back there. And yeah. Let's hop right into this game here and uh, see if we can beat the 2-5 and five Minnesota Vikings. Here we are at U.S. Bank Stadium at Minnesota's new home as Tim Weatherspoon has had quite the start to the year. Last week, not a good week, 400 yards, but Brian could have took him. Dalvin Cook in the lineup. It's going to be a battle of rookie QBs as we're wearing some throwback unis today, hoping to give us a little spark here. When we play the Vikings, who we should be able to beat. And if we have any chance to salvage this season, we need to turn it around here today against Minnesota. A little bit of training in uh, the off season. Nice play by Anderson there. Dalvin Cook, one yard. Last week, I mean, he hasn't been too impressive this year. Maybe he's been hurt, but Devin Cook numbers pretty, 
pretty pedestrian for what he's known for. I did a little bit of pass rush training. Oh, what a catch there by Justin Jefferson. Bringing up third down and three here. This is where we need to get off the field. And he catches the ball here. And this is a this is a game for Irv Smith Jr. here, actually, that we traded for after the Kyle Pitts injury. Get a little revenge on his old team, even though not really revenge, but you know what I mean. Arnold Evocati kind of slowing him down, kind of tripped right before he could make the tackle. As Tremaine Edmonds will take uh, over covering Dalvin Cook. Tackling Justin Jefferson never is easy. He's had two great catches so far today. Uh, going to have to keep him in check. I don't know what we're going to have to do, but we need to figure that out. Dalvin Cook just bouncing off would-be tacklers there. He's so fast. I was following with Greg Rousseau. I just couldn't catch up to him. Could not catch up. So we'll take over with Trey, Troy Anderson here. And that's going to be a pick by Troy Anderson, who baited the quarterback so well. And he has got room to run here. Is this going to be a pick six? Troy Anderson down the line to the five. Touchdown, Troy Anderson. The middle linebacker read the play the whole way and intercepted it, returned for a touchdown with a big, huge swing of momentum for this Atlanta Falcons team, which is very good because at home, teams have such an advantage with momentum. It's ridiculous. And it's so hard to get it away from them. But that is a great play by our defense. you got a pick six, and we don't have a lot of interceptions on the year. I think we got our first ones last week, but great play there by Troy Anderson reading the quarterback and just uh, making a play, making a play when you have to. Troy Anderson is going to cover the tight end here. And that's a sack there, doubled by Malone, and uh, looks to be maybe Arnold Evocati got in there, Greg Rousseau. Second and 19 now. See if we can make this third and long. And that is caught for just a two-yard gain there. And we are really holding them backwards, which I love to see. AJ Terrell, initial hit, bringing up fourth and seven. What a play by our defense there to hold them to fourth down, and they will punt the ball back here to our newly signed uh, off the Bengals practice squad, Vince, no, Vance Green? Vince Green? I don't know. Either way, he's got like 98 speed, 97 speed. He's a, a burner. Of course, we had a lot of receivers injured east recently, so I needed some depth. Decided to sign him, and we will take over offense for the first time today even though we're up by seven, thanks to a pick six by Troy Anderson. Stumbling for a two-yard gain there. Passes a little low there for Drake London. Now let's see what we can do here to get some yardage. Oh, just a little short there for Irv Smith Jr. And we will have a three and out, having to punt the ball back to Minnesota. Not the best start offensively, but it could be worse. Could definitely be worse. Could have thrown a pick. Very common. We had eight interceptions last game, so probably got like 38 on the year by now. We'll be back on defense. 
Nice play there. Hold him back. Hold him back, dude. Jermaine Edmonds has been such a great signing for us in the offseason. Really shirt up our linebacker position, especially him and Troy Anderson. Nice play, but... It, oh, it's not a first down. Okay. Third and inches, though. And that is tackled immediately by Caleb Farley, but Justin Jefferson gets the grab. And they are moving the ball here a little, little bit. Not too, nothing crazy. Nice play, Troy Anderson. Up the middle, gain it two. I'm looking for Greg Rousseau here to do something, do something for me. He hasn't been pretty quiet all season. Oh, and that is just a good play, a good route by Adam Thielen. Did not account for him. And big play by Minnesota, and we need to be careful here. We don't want this getting out of hand. We still have the lead. Nice play by Derwin James. But it will bring up first and goal at the six-yard line. Dalvin Cook just proving to be a problem right now. Trying to swat that away, but that will be caught for a touchdown by the tight end. Blake Jarwin. Haven't seen him in a while, but great touchdown by Blake Jarwin there. Tried to switch on. Uh, trying a new thing is that you switch on to the where they think the ball is going to be thrown, and you don't press the left stick, and the cornerback or whoever will continue to do what they do. And then you can swat or try to intercept or whatever. So we'll see how well that works. But game is now tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Atlanta. And that's a pretty nice game to the 22. Had, maybe could add a little more there. But All right, now our offense needs to do a little better than we have been. Because three and outs just aren't going to cut it. We need yardage. We need points. Great play to Denzel Mims for the first. Gain of 14. Of course, we picked up Tony Pollard in the offseason to be uh, our two-headed monster with Khalil Herbert. We just didn't have anybody before that could really uh, help out. Khalil Herbert was so much better than all our other options. It made no sense to take him off the field, and he got a lot of touches because of it. Nice play. Irv Smith Jr. gets the catch for the first down. And that will be the end of the first quarter going into the second. And we'll try a quick pitch. No, I don't like that. Let's throw the ball. Nice play. Denzel Mims. And that was a great play there by Weatherspoon and Denzel. Getting the first down, getting us closer and closer to our ultimate goal, which is the touchdown. Le touchdown. Oh, and that was almost picked by number 27 there. Edwards couldn't haul it in. Thought it was a fairly decent throw on our part. Edwards... Not reeling it in, though. Herbert with a nice play trying to get more yardage. Gain six there. And to bring up third down and four. And we need to convert this here. We need points. Drake London gets the first down. Great play, Drake London. Right in front of Eric Kendricks, who makes the tackle. We're going to run the ball here again because time is our enemy. We give, the, we give the opponent way too much time, and they just take over and destroy us. So we're going to continue to run the ball. We've had success. Oh, 
Oh, and we just stepped too far back. Zadarius Smith with the sack. Third and 15. Not a great, not a great spot to be in. Oh, how is that not pass interference as Elton Jenkins is hurt? That looks like maybe it should have been pass interference there. It's a nice lob. I mean, he was wide open. How the how the defenders saw that, because he was running with Drake London, and then he just switches it up, and that's pass interference. Maybe he's playing the ball. They don't call it, but kind of shitty if you ask me. We'll kick the field goal, maybe go up by three here. Kick is up, and Young Way Koo drills it. 10-7 Falcons. At least we came away with points. I kind of thought that last play should have been a touchdown. I don't know how the corner reacted like that and switched from one receiver to the next. But he's the best corner in the league, I guess. Whoever that was. Best corner in the league. But we are up by three points. Minnesota had a decent drive last week. Uh, Bruce Quad, we'll we'll bring in Womack. I don't want uh, Elton Jenkins, who's already been injured multiple times, to further his his injury. Oh, thank God that was incomplete. I should have intercepted that. I have a six four linebacker. I couldn't jump up and pick that ball off. Nice play, Richie Grant. Justin Jefferson continuing to really carve us up. He's been very good today. Four catches, 41 yards, 42 yards. Nice play. No room for Dalvin Cook to run there. Big 95. Love it. Love it, love it. We'll play with Greg Rousseau here. Dalvin Cook, oh my God, 52. How did we not make a play on that ball? How did we not make a play on that ball? You went right for the tackle instead of the swap. Maybe that was on me. Maybe that was on me. I'll take the blame for that. First and 10 here at the 50. Nice play, Troy Anderson trying to knock it out of there. Can't, but makes a tackle. Second and five now. Momentum quickly dwaning as Minnesota continues to move the ball. Oh, Caleb Farley tried to cut back there to make a play on the ball. Just a little reaction too late. But Nice play. Did we bring him down in time? It looks like he got the first. Adam Thielen. They'll give him forward progress there for the first down. I don't know about that, guys. I thought we could have had him. Should have had him there. Nice incompletion there. Love the way our defense is playing today. They really came out to prove, prove the doubters wrong, really. And that is caught for the touchdown, Adam Thielen. What a play there by Adam Thielen. He beat Richie Grant. Uh, Brian saw it. Or Brian, Broyan? I don't know how to say it. Byron? 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 It's Byron. Dude, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I always think the names are more complex than they are, you know? But we are down now by four, so we'll take a knee here in the end zone, bringing it out to the 25. And that was just a good play. Good play by Adam Thielen. Can't be mad at it. They do get a, a chance at offense also. Irv Smith Jr. with a nice catch. And Weatherspoon really, really playing a little better than he has of late. 
and we will run the ball. Herbert been very quiet this year compared to last year. But that is a first down or close to one as Brian Edwards is injured again right when he comes back. Wow. Bad, bad, bad luck for Brian Edwards there. This Irv Smith Jr. is going to take this. And that's going to be Denzel Mims who gets the ball for a nice gain there. What a play by Denzel Mims. Great throw there by Weatherspoon. Shoulder strain. Uh, Denzel Mims just made the catch, so he's going to come in for the injured Brian Edwards. What a play there by Khalil Herbert fighting for yardage down to the five-yard line. Khalil Herbert, such a nice play by him. Down to the two, Khalil. Nice play, Irv Smith Jr. That's a touchdown. What kind of celebration are they? Oh, oh, they're dancing. Oh, they're mimes. What are they, animatronics? Who knows? What kind of, what is that? But we do answer back. Nice job, Falcons offense. I love the new offensive play calling. I'm so glad I did the tutorials. because That helped me out so much. Because I, I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, but... The little bit I learned seems to be paying off. I did a low pass there. Him or nobody. And I think maybe we have a shot in some of these close games now. But we still need to show up on defense. Nice play, A.J. Terrell. Keeping him in bounds, too. Wow, what a tackle. That'll be the two-minute warning. And I believe we do get the ball to start the second half, so that is good. Out of bounds. Out of bounds there. Blake Jarwin's been heavily featured. And that is thrown away there by Byron. Great job by the defense, really kind of shutting down any possible passing lanes. Adam Thielen comes into the backfield here. And Justin Jefferson, so good. Third in inches, though. And that is dropped by Blake Jarwin. Oh, my Lord. And they're not going to go for this fourth in inches. Almost at the 50. Okay. Whatever you want to do. What a kick that was. Right out of bounds at the 35. And we have time. We have time to go down the field here. We could even run the ball. I think we have all of our timeouts here. As we're going to take a shot, maybe? Take a shot here? And that was just too hard there. More of a bullet pass. Should have lobbed it. That could have been a touchdown. Easily for us. Easily. And that is a sack... In the backfield, timeout by the Vikings. Terrible, terrible series of events there. Missed the wide open receiver and then sacked for a 10-yard loss. But we are going to make them use another timeout, though. Herbert, decent play there. Eric Hendricks is hurt on the play. As we will punt the football away here and give it back to our defense with a minute left. One timeout for the Vikings. And 
Nice play there down at the 34-yard line. we got to tackle and bounce, guys. Tackle and bounce. Troy Anderson here will patrol the middle of the field. And he runs out of bounds. Great job by Adam Thielen. Couldn't bring him down. Tried to did the breakdown tackle. Didn't really work out. And we just need to keep him out of field goal range. Oh, Derwin James almost had that ball. Derwin James, dangerous here. Oh, my God. How did Caleb Farley not make a play on that? Let's go, fellas. Let's go, fellas. Troy Anderson here. Help me cover these guys. That'll be incomplete. Third down and ten. All right. We played well so far. We just got to keep them from getting any yards, really. Because this might be a run. We need to make sure we don't get fooled on a run play. Nice incompletion there. Harassing them with the DB in the backfield. AJ Terrell, and they will punt. Best case scenario for us. Best case scenario. A fair catch. I don't want nothing crazy happening. I want to go into the half with the lead. But we'll see if anything really gets open here for us. Maybe we can make something happen. We'll take a timeout. Nothing crazy. We'll just see what happens. Maybe a screen. Let's throw a screen here. They want, they want us to run the ball. All right. All right, coach. If you want to give up the game like that, I guess we'll give up the game. Thought we were here to win, though. That's a first down, though, Coach. What are we going to do? we got to be aggressive. We're 0-7, I think, or 0-6. Whatever we are, we're very, very low on the, the you know, win call, as we have none. So, Really, I would be glad if we had points on the end of this drive would be cool, but if not, I understand also. Nice play, Irv Smith Jr., We'll call a timeout. Maybe we can get something out of bounds up the field. They still want us... Still want us to kind of... Maybe we can get something to Drake London here. Oh, Drake London had hands on it. DB broke it up. Nice design play, though. I like I like the concept of that. Is we're going to take the lead into halftime, and we do get the ball back, and things seem to be seem to be working well. We'll continue the inside run. And we'll continue to defend the short pass here. We will get the ball to start the second half. And our offense has been playing quite well. So has our defense, really. Remember, we had the, the pick six that has us in the lead. So our offense has not been scoring as much. But it's a team effort. Special teams have been playing well. I like how this game is shaping up. Tony Pollard trying to break through the line, gains a few. Khalil Herbert will now come into the game as he ripped off a giant run earlier today. Really set up for our uh, scoring play. There's too many purple jerseys around. Third and three. And we'll probably go for it if we don't get it here, but we very, very well could get this. Oh, just couldn't quite grab... And this is Mr. Khalil Herbert's time. This is what Khalil Herbert does best. He gets first downs. But if we don't make this, it's very bad for us, actually. 
but we can't play scared. And we get it. We get the first, and Khalil still running, turning the legs, gaining more yardage. He wants the victory. He wants the victory here. He's tired of losing. Tired of losing. He was on the Bears. He was losing. He's with us. He's losing. We need to. Uh, we need to give this man a reason to want to play this hard. You know, Atlanta. We still do have. All of our momentum. Nice play, Andy Isabella. You know what? I am nervous throwing to Andy. He's fumbled the ball a few more than a few times in critical situations and really has put us in bad spots, but how much can I blame him? Lil Herbert just trying to get something there, just pushing, pushing, and pushing. Gains a few, gains five, it looks like. Ah, uh, Irv Smith, how do you not come up with that, dude? I don't understand how he doesn't catch that. Don't understand how he doesn't get that. Andy Isabella, nice play, getting the ball in front of the defenders. Tony Pollard will get the carry here. Tony Pollard. Nice play by Pollard. Nice run by Pollard. We'll call a little bit of a hurry up here. Maybe we can catch him off guard. Fake the run. Roll out. Oh, and that's intercepted by 23. What a play by Andrew Booth Jr. Maybe I should have let a high pass instead of a low pass there. Oh, what a mistake by Tim Weatherspoon. Really costing us... You know, value, very valuable yards and points. And, of course, any time they're backed up on their own one, they get a giant play, especially for a touchdown. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is why everyone hates Madden. There's no reason when they're backed up to their own one-yard line they should rip off a freaking run for 99 yards and a touchdown. There's no way. That never freaking happens. But you can almost guarantee that if you back them up at the two or the one, they're getting 20 yards or more that first play and getting themselves out of there. It's so stupid. It's the stupidest thing in the game. We've got a fair catch here, and that was a big, big blunder on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. And we just got to play better. We're still in this game by a – we just got to score and we'll be right back in it. We just got to be careful. Tony Pollard gets a few yards. We just got to high point that ball next time. Oh, and that's another pick. How was that picked off by Harrison Smith, dude? You got to be me, dude. How was that intercepted? Harrison Smith just... It's right to the ground. Oh, that's so stupid. So dumb. Another interception by Tim Weatherspoon here. Really putting us in a bad spot. That's a incomplete pass, second and ten. And wow, I just can't believe what's happened. We've been playing so good all day, and to now... You know, let up big yardage here is really unlike us. Incomplete there to Dalvin Cook, third and three. <coughs> and at least we are getting somewhat of a stop. Nice play. Driving him backwards. I love it. Make the field goal that much more difficult here as they will try a three-point play. A kickoff. Not a kickoff. And they miss. Great job, defense, right there. Great job. Thank you so much. Now, offense, if you turn the ball over, 
If you turn the ball over now, I'm done. I'm done with you. And Isabella with a nice play. And we still got plenty of time. We got to remember that. Still plenty of time left. No need to try to get it all. Plenty of time. Khalil Herbert! Nice play with a nice run. Having his best game of the year today in Minnesota. Khalil Herbert now has 88 yards. How was that intercepted? <coughs> I don't... Dude, how does he keep making these plays? I'm trying to throw it to where only my guy can get it. I try to throw it... And, oh my, come on, dude. If, you, if you're if you not going to make the catch, bat the ball away. As we're just giving up this game now. We're just giving this game away to everybody. That's an incomplete pass. Thank the Lord. That was incomplete because I would have been so mad. All right, defense. Let's take the ball away again. We had such a good play earlier. Nice play. One yard gain as Dalvin Cook has just torched us here today. Oh my God, Caleb Farley. What was that? Huge catch. Adam Thielen. Come on, dude. What are you doing out there? This is ridiculous. Come on, guys. Pull it together here. Nice play, Richie Grant. We need a takeaway. We need a takeaway. Just got to calm down. Calm down. This is our game. Blake Jarwin gets the touchdown here as uh, Bradley Bozeman is injured. <sighs> nice play there. Second and goal. I mean, our only hope now is to hold him to a field goal. So it doesn't appear that we're going to be able to bring them back any. Nice play by Edmonds, though. Does bring him back some. And Byron's having quite the game, I must say. That will be fourth and goal here. They will kick the field goal being up by 10 with just uh, the fourth quarter here to go. We still are right in this game. We just can't have no more bonehead turnovers that we've been having. We might have to... Uh, we might not have to throw over to Harrison Smith. But nonetheless... We need points. We can't score. We can't win the game in one play. So we just got to be cognizant of that and just make the plays when we need to make them. Green with an okay return. Offense will take the field. Khalil Herbert's been having a great day. Khalil Herbert. Trying to get something, gets nothing. Can we get a playoff? We can't. Try to get one extra play. Fourth quarter here, down by a few. Still not out of this game, though. Somehow, after everything that's happened, we're not out of it. Denzel Mims with a nice catch. That's what we got to do. 
Just got to move the ball downfield, get some first downs, not let, you know, everything just pile up on us. I mean, how does he shed that, dude? Let's see the best D end ever. Number 93, whoever he is. He's not even a guy that you know who he is. It's ridiculous. Irv Smith Jr. gets the ball. Nice play, four-yard gain, third down. It is third down, so that is a little concerning to me, but I think we'll be able to convert. We're not going to be able to convert. We had to throw it away. I mean, I think we have to go for it, honestly. I really think we do. Gonna have to be slants. That's not who I wanted to throw to. God dang it. It's a freaking touch or interception by Fuller. That was not who I wanted to throw to. We're gonna give this game away just like every other freaking game this year. Oh, it's so annoying. I mean, Edmonds tackle. I mean, Dalvin Cook tore us up. We just keep making mistakes on offense, man. Keep on making the same mistakes turning the ball over. It's a drop pass there by Dalvin Cook. Now, of course, that's caught. Why wouldn't it be our superstar X-Factor 90-something overall safety can't cover Blake Jarwin? Forgot. Forgot we couldn't do that. Incomplete. He's threw the ball 40 times today. You know, that's so many times. And that's incomplete to Justin Jefferson. Okay. We just need to sack him back here for a loss. Justin Jefferson. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm at a loss for words. I mean, what do you want us to do? What do you want us to do there? Our defense just totally crapped the bed. I just don't understand what else we could have done. Screen will take the ball back here. It's out to the 24-yard line. <clears throat> and coaches, you know, really adamant about Witherspoon here. He's got to do something better. He's got to play better than he has been playing. Oh, and that was almost another pick by 23 who seems to know exactly what we're going to freaking throw. How do you know? Oh, Denzel Mims, dude. That was all you. That was all you. You could have had that and been a hero. Could have had that and been the hero, dude. He does get that one, though. Nice play, Denzel. Four picks. I mean... Oh, nice hit, Harrison Smith, knocking the ball away. Just not even close to where he was. Whatever that throw was, Weatherspoon. Good Lord. Have some pride. Have some pride in your throws. Nice play there, Irv Smith Jr. I mean, we're just throwing the ball down the field at this point. 
just slinging the ball down the field. I mean, if we wouldn't have been caught up there with the, the DB, that would have been a touchdown, possibly. It's hard to imagine that just because it's never happened to us, but it, it possibly could have been a touchdown. Irv Smith Jr. gets tackled down for a loss. Brian Edwards gets a catch first down. Nice catch, Brian. And Isabella. Scary, scary giving him the ball, especially in these situations. Where they like the I mean, we had blockers in front. We just couldn't make anybody miss. Drake London can't come down with it. Almost deflected and intercepted, but thankfully it falls incomplete. Denzel Mims with a nice catch down to the two. Pollard gets in for the score. I mean, I guess we'll celebrate, but I really don't want to. You know, we still have a chance in this game, but I'm so disappointed when we let the other team win the game. Like, we have the game in hand, and we just throw these dumb interceptions, or our defense gives up a 99-yard touchdown run when we back them up to the one-yard line. Like, what do you want me to go in punt formation? Or, like, field goal? He's been amazing today. Dalvin Cook just been our nightmare today. Great play by number 12, getting nine yards. Our defense today was ranked ninth in passing. Not today. Out, allowed a lot of yards today, guys. Like Jarwin's just you know, the second coming of Rob Gronkowski out there, just catching and running over, dudes. Get off me. Oh, come on, defense. You're making me sick out here now. Incomplete, second and ten. I mean, we're getting no pressure really on him, but... Oh, third and five. Did not think that was completed, but they're going to say it was, and they're going to give it to him. That'll be incomplete. Whoa. We have a chance here now, guys. We have a legit chance. They don't score. We're only down by... Seven. Quick math there. Not a math guy. Oh, and Vance Green gets tripped up. Oh, my God, Vance. Oh, my God. That could have been big. All right, offense. Let's, let's be smart about this. Let's just move the ball down the field just like we know how to do. I mean, we do want, need to hurry a little bit. Nice play, Denzel Mims. Oh, was that a pick? Dude. How was that an interception? Oh, my God. 
They don't want us to win games. It's like they don't want us to win games at all, dude. How was that an interception there? How does he catch it? He, I mean, we don't really incomplete passes. They just pick them off when we don't complete them to our own guys. Stupid. And of course, freaking Caleb Farley can't do anything. Now, if I would have thrown that, the DB would have reached over my freaking guy and intercepted the ball. Dude, it's so frustrating. We're so close. We're so close. Just these freaking interceptions, man. I mean, it's over. We're just hoping for them to make a mistake, but it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Taking our final timeout, second and three, second and six, rather. I mean, they're just going to run the ball out. Blake Jarwin's injured. Could have had that happen forever ago. Would have been nice. AJ Terrell had a chance to win us the game. AJ Terrell had a chance to win us the game. And unlike the Vikings DBs, my DBs don't make these interceptions. I mean, look at it. Maybe I could have swatted it there instead, but either way, that's, I'm just so disappointed in this losing, man. We shouldn't have lost this game. And that's going to do it. It's going to be 31-24. We should have had this one, guys. Really thought this was going to be our first win. That is it. Minnesota 31, Atlanta 24. A little heartbroken over that game. We really thought we could have had that one. We should have had it. We just got to clean up those mistakes. However, however we got to do that, we got to do that. As Troy Anderson has an upgrade point after his stellar performance. And we'll just go into field general. See what we get. Plus one tackle zone awareness. I mean, bleh. As we rack up another loss here. As next week, we will take on the Detroit Lions, who are also 2-5. and five, So, I mean, we're 0-8. Our season's pretty much over, but we just... Got to turn it around and get some wins here, guys. But that's going to do it for me. Make sure you like, subscribe for more misery in Falcons franchise. Peace.